Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome to Jay's Crochet and Knit and Gifts. Um, I am making a video today how to do the chain stitch on the crochet. I'm going to begin and let you know I am a beginner. I am learning just like you, and I started this about three months ago. So, welcome, and we're going to begin. If you hear anything in the background, I do have Sir Charles with me, and I have Luna, so they might be with us during this taping. So, I'm going to bring the camera down to the table. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Today, what we're going to be, you're going to be needing is going to be um, your thread, and also your crochet hook I'm going to be using today is going to be your 6.5, um, your K-hook. I'm also going to be using for your sample today um, to honor the breast cancer awareness is going to be the Perfect Pink from Red Heart Super Savers. So that is the color I'm using today. Um, it's going to be, um, I'm going to be making some gifts out of this, but I wanted to start with you. Um, first of all, I'm just going to cut a little bit of the yarn off. So I don't have to be tangling with the the, um, the yarn. Always remember to have your scissors close by for you so you can use those. And also, you might not in this um, editorial. Um, in the future, you might need a um, a needle. I have two of them here, but I usually keep one in my little Tasper needle. If you're doing a project, I keep one in my hooks here and keep one in my little box. So. Today, um, the first thing you're going to learn how to is make a slip knot. The way I make mine, there are many ways how people make them, but this is going to be the way I make them. You can do it any way you feel comfortable. Start, sorry about moving around the camera. I'm trying to get a better angle for all of you. If that's better, I hope it is. Um, so what I do is I wrap the yarn around my two fingers. I pull it out like so, and I put a um, the, this yarn in the center. I take my hook, bring it in the center, and I pull down. And I make sure that I tighten it up. Not too tight, make it a little loose, like that, as so. So that's how you do the slip knot. I'm gonna do it one more time for you. I'm gonna unhook it, take it apart. So what to do is you wrap it around your two fingers like so, like that, you can see it. Um, take it out as so, like so. Okay, take this one thread here, put it in the center, like so, like that. Take your hook, bring it through, and then pull down and tighten up the strings for you. Not too tight, you don't want to make it too tight. Um, in one of my videos, I talked about tension. This is what I mean by tension. You don't want tight tension on that. It makes it hard. It makes it hard for the the, the head of the hook to go into the, the chains. So what you're going to do now to make your chain is you're going... There are different ways to hold the yarn, um, to hold the, the hook. And believe me, it took me about a couple weeks to feel comfortable in the proper way to hold it. But you know what the proper way is? What's comfortable for you that you're not straining yourself. I don't want you saying, ah, oh, this is so frustrating, I'm gonna give it up. Don't give it up, you'll, learn, you'll enjoy it. So, you're going to hear terminology around yarn over or around the hook. When they say that, that's what that means, yarn over. Let me move my little X marks the spot. So, yarn over. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over. Okay? Take this bottom part, bottom slip knot, bring it over like so. Okay? See that? We're going to yarn over, grab that, bring it over. You just made two chains. Okay, let's do it again. Yarn over, bring it through the hole, and there you go. Now you have three. Let's do it again. Yarn over, 
bring it through. There you go. Let's try one more time. Bring it a little closer. Yarn over, bring it through the hook or the hole, I apologize. The chain, there you go. Let's try one more time. Yarn over and bring it through. Let's count how many chains we have so you know. Please, whenever you make a project, do not count this as a chain on your hook. That's not a chain. This is a chain. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. You have six chains. Let's do four more together. We'll start over and try again. So yarn over, bring the hook through the chain. There you go. Yarn over, bring it through the chain. There you go. Yarn over, bring it through the chain. One more time. Yarn over and bring it through. There's your chain. I am going to be honest with you. <laughs> it took me about a day. It might not take you that long, but it took me about a day to feel comfortable. Um, I had different sizes. I had different, oh, it was just a nightmare, but you'll learn. Yarn over and through. So now I'm going to bring it up and show you what it looks like. So here you have, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten chains. So now we're going to start over. Just take your thread and just start all over. <gasps> oh, how devastating. We can do it. Or you can do it. So wrap the yarn around your two fingers like so, as you can see what I have here, okay? Take it off your fingers, put your yarn in the center of the hole, just like so, if you can see that, okay? Take your hook, you know what? Any hook you have that's able to handle the four weight, feel comfortable, use that. So take your hook, tighten up your slip knot, if you can see that, like so, okay? And then you're going to, again, the terms that they use, the terminology, yarn over, pull your hook. Oops, sorry. My, my, my chain, my slip knot's a little tight. Okay, yarn over, hold on to this, pull it through, there you go. Yarn over, pull it through, there you go. Can you see that okay? Yarn over, pull it through, there you go. Yarn over, pull it through, bingo. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through. There's your stitches, okay? I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna go yarn over, pull it through. And when I was learning, and I'm going to show you the things I learned from, I don't want to call them mistakes, but I had gone the other way, and I tried to pull it that way, I went around the other way, and pulled it through that way, yarn over, I got it in the front, pull it through, oops, excuse me, pull it through, you know, it's, it doesn't look right, it, it's not correct, so I'm going to, Go the right way, yarn over, pull it through. And in fact, hold on just for a moment while I have you here with me. I apologize. I am going, if you see this, if I'm able to do this, there we go. You go yarn over and then pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through. If you're able to see that, I don't know if the angle is helping you. I'm still learning, just like with you guys. Um, yarn over, pull it through. 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 Yarn over, pull, oops. Oh, what are you? Just put your hook in. Yarn over, and pull it through. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull my hook out. 
There you go. Now you're going to see, I don't know if you see it or not, and I apologize for my tattoo. Uh, it says Faith. F-A-I-T-H. It's Faith. Um, I don't know if you see it or not, but there is a difference when I had stitched the other way around. It's right in through here. I don't know if you see that. Here's the yarn over. Here's where I had done it differently, and then yarn over. I wanted to show you that there is a difference. This is the proper way to do so, to make your beginning, your 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 base, your foundation of your project. Um, I don't want you to get frustrated. I'm going to be sincere. You're going to make mistakes, and I hope you do, because you can pull it apart, pull it apart, and you can start over. We are only learning. So we're going to do this one more time. Oops, I apologize. Learn again. Okay. There you go. So we're going to do, we're going to wrap the yarn around our two fingers, like so. Okay. And we're going to pull the fingers out. Put the yarn in the center, like so. Put the hook through. Whoops, excuse me, I apologize. Put the hook through. It's gonna look like it's gonna look like that. Look like that. Tighten up. I'm gonna do that one more time. Make sure you guys can see this. I don't want you to get frustrated. We're gonna wrap the thing the yarn around the around the yarn around the fingers. Pull the yarn off. Put the yarn in the center, like so. Then we're going to take your hook and we're going to put it like so. You see that? And then we're going to tighten it. And like I had stated, this is normal, this length here. This is what they call the tail. This is going to be when they're going to finish up and sew in. And I'll show you those, what that means. So it's okay to have this length here like this. If you want to make it smaller, you can make it smaller. And the way you can do it is just make this smaller, take it around, just like so, bring it through, like so. That's how you make it smaller, okay? It doesn't matter if you have a long or, or a short. I like to keep it pretty, pretty average um, length, and the reasoning is to, to so it back into the project, and so it's it's woven in, and it looks clean. It looks nice. So what we're going to do, we're going to do it one more time. Um, you're going to yarn over, which is a Y O in your terms, and you're going to take your hook and bring it through the hole. Okay, see that? Yarn over and bring it through. Yarn over and bring it through yarn over and bring it through yarn over and bring it through yarn over bring it through yarn over I bring it through yarn over bring it through it's very beautiful here today in El Paso I'm able to open the windows. 90% of the time I have to run the air condition. Oh, I enjoy this beautiful weather. I think it's about 78, I think, today. Just take your time. Enjoy it. Feel comfortable. Like I said, your chain is your foundation. Your beginning of your project. You want this strong. You need this to feel comfortable. Yarn over. Yarn over. Yarn over. Like so. So there's your stitch. So to count these, before we finish off, we're going to count our two stitches so you know how many chains you have. If you're able to see that. So we have Remember, please remember, do not count the one on the hook. That is not considered a, a chain stitch. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. <laughs> Um, it was at a different angle, I apologize. So, you know what? Look, you did 24 chains. Congratulations, I'm proud of you. You can do it. And it's just the beginning. And I'm proud of you. I'm really, really proud of you. Enjoy this. Take the time. Take your time, your quiet time. And um, pretty soon you'll be sitting in front of the TV and doing this and watching your favorite TV show. And... Um, have a beautiful day. Enjoy yourself and come back and visit. If you have any questions, put it, place your comments in the comment area. Um, if you like it, like it. If you don't, if you don't like it, don't don't mark that. <laughs> Let's make it positive. But you know what? Be honest. Be honest with me and um, believe me. I, if I don't know, I'll find out. So please have a, a beautiful day. Enjoy your day and um, come back and visit. So, have a good one and thank you from Jay's Crochet and Knit Gifts. Thank you.